So you may have seen the news, police seize a list of IPTV users from IPTV sellers. People get in something which is called Sky IPTV. We're going to take a look at this one and let's see what it's all about and let's hear your thoughts on it as well. Before we do that though, if you can, if you're brand new here, do remember if you want to stay up to date with anything, streaming, whether it's Fire Sticks, Android TV, IPTV, movie apps, TV apps, do remember to hit that follow button. We will keep you all up to date over the coming weeks. Plus, if you're a regular watcher here, drop me your thoughts in the comments and do remember to watch through till the end. Okay, so what have we got on this one? What have we got? There's articles out, you might have seen around the news, that the police have seized customer lists of illegal IPTV users after making two arrests. The article's quite an interesting one, so we go through it and we see what we feel is real and what isn't. So look, as it says, we all know somebody who has knows somebody who has a dodgy box. We don't know what a dodgy box is. You know the TV thing where they magically seem to have access to everything. But as tempting as cheap access to more channels might sound, we all know it's illegal. Interesting. And therefore, definitely not okay. This is just the article's words, not mine. Plus, the police have now seized a list of people illegally using Sky IPTV after two arrests were made. Sky IPTV is a very interesting one. I'm not quite sure what they mean by that. Obviously, IPTV has a lot of IPTV has its own names, plus it has different services on it. Very rarely just Sky, but I'm assuming it's streaming Sky TV channels. The Eastern Region Special Operations Unit have been doing a long-running investigation into a Telegram channel. This channel has been selling unauthorized access to Sky TV. The people behind the scheme are said to have made over a whopping 800,000 from it as well as access being roll, resold to thousands of users. So what they're saying is these people have been arrested and there's been a list of user base given to the police. So your data, if you haven't kept it safe, is possibly at risk. Possibly. The specialist managed to seize 17,000 in cash. They also sent off a number of digital and custom streaming devices for further examination. Plus two men aged 33 and 35 have been arrested on suspicion of alleged fraud. There we go money laundering and intellectual property offences. So the key thing they always get done for is fraud and money laundering because people don't know what to do with the cash. It's all about the money and where this money is going from. It seems to catch them every time. One of the men was also arrested for firearms license breaches. <laughs> they were later bailed after questioning while investigators carried on. So there's a lot more to the story as always. But what you've got to ask yourselves a little bit, if there was a seize, if you are a third party IPTV user, what information would they have of yours on this list? Whether it came from bank payments, would they have your name, details, your address? If you're paying with official bank details, would they have access to it via your bank? Would you have used something like PayPal, which possibly could keep it a little bit more private because it's a more of a global company than a bank in your country? Um, I'm not saying it's 100% private. There's other ways, there's a lot of other ways. Um, they would maybe get your email address when you signed up. Did you give uh, your general email address with your name in or anything like that? Let me know underneath your thoughts. Would they have your IP address? Obviously, everybody who connects to an IPTV service, like any TV service, whether they're official IPTV or unofficial IPTV, your IP address is used so they know how many people are connected at once. Because if not, you could all just connect under the same account. So they would have your IP address and what you are watching. That has to be on there. Otherwise, you could be using your IPTV in 20 different houses and sharing an account, unless they had that, okay? So, did you use a VPN to keep that information safe? I don't know. If you're after a VPN, we will link one underneath. This isn't a VPN sales one. I'm just bringing you this news. But I'm intrigued to know your thoughts on this one underneath. Sky's director of Anti-Piracy UK, Matt Hilbert, also said, We are grateful and to the forces involved for taking this action, which will have significant impact on the illicit sale of Sky TV. We'll continue to support efforts to shut down the organised networks involved in the large-scale theft of our content and to protect consumers from the risk involved in accessing content in this way. While it's not the same as using an illegal device like this, a lawyer previously explained the consequences of not paying your TV licence. They remind us that avoiding the charge of watching anything live on channel or streaming services is an offence and that you could end up in court for it. Very interesting. Very interesting. Big article. We've seen many articles like this over the years. We've still never seen a user, an end user arrested for using a so-called IPTV or illegal IPTV. Remember here at Doc Swiffy channel, we do not condone third party streaming or illegal streaming. 
We're just bringing you the news here and everything we do on the channel is official, so do check it out. And if you are after a VPN, this should be used on official apps and unofficial apps for your safety. Linked underneath is the best deal on offer at the minute for IP Vanish. Link directly underneath this video for you as well. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy. I'm out of here. If you are brand new, like I said, do hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on another platform or on a website, do hit that follow button on me. Come find me on YouTube. Just search Doc Squiffy. We're closing in on 600,000 followers. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.